Hi friends and welcome to the last day of adding and subtracting fractions in a line plot. Tomorrow we will be going over our review and then post kid wind we will be going over the answers and then Thursday the 15th we will be taking our comprehension check to get it all finished up before our well-deserved spring break. Um, so this is our last day of workbook pages for a while. So let's focus up. We're going to be working on pages 479 and 480 together and then on your own you'll be doing page 482. So last um, video our focus was adding um, fractions and line plots. Today we're obviously focusing on subtracting. So we're going to jump right in with page 479. So there are many kinds of dragonflies that are different in length. A scientist measures the lengths of different dragonflies and makes a line plot to show the measurements. What is the difference between the length of the longest and the shortest butterfly? So we have the difference again, which we know from previous lessons, that means subtraction. And it's between the longest and the shortest dragonfly. So it looks like here the shortest is three and one fourth. And then the longest with data points is four and three fourths. So it looks like the problem we are trying to solve is four and three fourths minus three and one fourth. Now, um, there's a trick here that I think is going to be very helpful. So just stick with me for this. I'll be happy to go over other examples in the meet if you're confused. So to change a mixed number into an improper fraction, we multiply these two. So four times four and then we add the numerator. So you multiply the whole number times the denominator and then add the numerator. So in this case, it's four times four, which is 16, plus three more, which is 19. So the improper fraction for four and three fourths is 19 over four. And then following the same thing, four times three is 12, plus one more is 13. So we have 13 over four. Now, this makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about the whole numbers and the fraction. Um, and then you just go from here. The denominator stays the same. And then 19 take away 3 is 6. Now, we still have an improper fraction here. So if we have our picture like yesterday, we have two models of 4. 1, 2, 3 four, five, six of them are shaded. So that means one and two fourths. So six fourths is equal to one and two fourths. You can also say um, four over four and there's two more here. So it's not four, it's two more than four, it's six. So then there's where your two comes from as well, okay? So the answer here would be one and two fourths inches. So I'm just gonna, so first let's write the answer and then I'll go over an example on a separate sheet of paper with you for a couple examples. So um, get ready to get some scratch paper. So our sentence to match our writing or our work here is the difference between the lengths of the longest and shortest dragonfly is one and two fours inches. So, I know that was a lot. Let's just pause with that. And can you just get either sticky note, note card, piece of scratch paper? This is how that works. So let's do a different mixed number. Let's try two and two fourths. So for two and two fourths, the denominator stays four, but then we're gonna multiply these two. So four times two is eight, plus two more is 10. So the mixed number is two and two fourths. The improper fraction is 10 fourths, okay? Um, and let's try one, oh, we'll do two more. So we have three and one fifth, we'll say. So three and one fifth. So we're gonna multiply and then we're gonna add. So 
The improper fraction the denominator stays the same. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 more is 16. The improper fraction is 16 fifths. That's just saying that 16 pieces are shaded of a model that's divided up into fifths, okay? And then the same thing here. 10 pieces are shaded out of the model that is divided up into fourths. So there's obviously going to be two holes, right? That's where the two comes in. And then two fourths left over. And then same idea here. We're going to have 16 shaded out of fifths. So that means we're going to have three whole models shaded in. And then we're going to have um, the one fifth. So the one out of the last one shaded. Okay. And then there's going to be one more as an example. Let's try four into six. So again, denominator stays the same multiply then add so multiply six times four is 24 plus two more is 26 okay so it's just a way to transfer a mixed number into an improper fraction um and then you can also with improper fractions think of this sign or this fraction bar as a division sign so like 10 divided by 4 is 2 with the remainder of 2 right or 16 divided by 5 if we use this as a division sign is three remainder one so it's just a matter of understanding the transition and how to get there from either way okay um there's a little side note so let's jump back in if you have any questions on how to do this like i said i'll be happy to go over it um but other than that i'll just quickly look at page 480 where it kind of shows us the number line strategy as well so we could picture it like this right you can use a picture to help so the length of the longest dragonfly is four and three fourths the length of the shortest one is three and one fourth so the difference in lengths would be the not shaded right so this is one way to do it with this one it gets a little tricky because you got to make sure it's equal um it can't be a miss dion drawing here it won't work but you could also use a number line so if we start at four and three fourths and then we jump back by um Fourth, so one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, and it would bring us to three and one fourth. Okay. So this one does get trickier, in my opinion. I feel like drawing the picture like this is easier and it just makes more sense. But as always, it's just whatever makes the most sense to you, whatever strategy you like to use best. Um, so if you have any questions, please pause now and ask. If not, you can move right on to page 482. And then make sure you show me either on Google Meet or on Seesaw. I'm here if you need me. Bye, guys.